Hi there, I'm Julie Tam, Managing Broker of Lynn Realty in Houston, Texas. Thank you for joining me for Smarter Real Estate Weekly on Wednesdays. Today I'm taking you through a very personal journey of our own search for a new home. And we're standing here at an empty lot. Let me tell you the story behind this. Uh, I'm not gonna show you a whole lot because I don't wanna reveal to people where we will be living, but uh, I'm just gonna walk around a little bit um, while I talk. So visually, not gonna be extremely interesting, but the story behind it will be. So as you know, right now, um, during this kind of latter stage of the pandemic, uh, and really starting several months ago, we um, have just been experiencing a crazy hot real estate market, which has made it good for sellers, not so good for buyers, extremely competitive. And you know, even though I'm a real estate broker, I'm also a buyer and um, have experienced this myself firsthand, uh, my husband and I. So the home we currently lived in, live in, uh, we love. We really do like it. We like the neighborhood. Um, it's very conveniently located. And so we were not in some huge rush to move um, when we started looking a few years ago but we um, did want you know some more space um, and just some different features that we didn't have with our current home and so when we were looking we started off by making an offer on a lakefront property uh, in the Houston area that we really did like it was a much larger home and um, the seller at the time was not willing to come down to the price and this was not a hot market at the time this was a market where you could get some discount off the home you could negotiate and so um, that one didn't work out but funny enough they ended up dropping the price to below what we had offered so if they had just taken our offer they could have sold the house but you know that was not meant to be and I'm actually we're very glad both of us my husband and I um, then next while I was pregnant this is number two house number two we were talking to a large national builder. I'm not gonna name them on this video, uh, but they had told us that we could build a certain floor plan on the lot that we liked, uh, also lakefront in Sugarland, a uh, gated community, really nice. This would be a, be a new construction. And um, the sales lady made a mistake. After we spent countless hours over a couple of weeks time, literally you know working with her to tweak the plan starting to make some selections reading over the entire long contract okay like a hundred pages plus then she suddenly tells us i'm so sorry but you cannot build this floor plan on this lot this lot and this section is reserved for our much higher end floor plans almost like a bait and switch right i feel like maybe she honestly did make a mistake but um, we were very mad because we were not ready to go to this higher price point at that time. And so, and I was also pregnant at this time with our first child, St super stressful. Um, you know, we had envisioned our new little baby in this home, even growing up, you know, as a toddler, just like, you know, running around the house and we were really excited. And so having invested all that mental and emotional energy into it made it even worse when it didn't work out. So we had to just say, well, we're not going to be able to go under contract for this because we're not going to be able to build the plan within the price range that we wanted to, that you told us we could. So anyway, that was that. And they didn't want to do right by the customer either. I said, well, you know, you took us on this wild ride. Um, couldn't you just, you know, make an exception and let us build this house, you know, uh, on this lot? It, it would be a fabulous house, not some terrible house, but just not one of the highest end plans. Nope wasn't in the cards okay then strike three <laughs> came when we um, bid on a lakefront home this is an existing home new construction uh, not new construction uh, we call this the meticulous house because these owners kept it so meticulously uh, the home was actually more than 15 years old but it was almost like new the condition that they kept it in it was amazing even the carpet I mean just yeah, it was it was it was really nice, um, and this lake was even better than the first lake uh, lakefront home that we offered on because this lake you actually could boat in, and it really reminds you of the Mediterranean, like Venice, um, the way that the neighborhood is. And so, we were really excited about this one, but unfortunately, we got outbid. But at the time, we were actually okay with that because we had a certain budget in mind and thought, you know what. This is as much as we want to pay. So if we get outbid, we get outbid and then, you know, that's the way it is. This was also 
before things got so frenzied. It was kind of like right at the beginning of when things started getting hot. Uh, this was during the pandemic. Okay, then strike four, all right? <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, you know, the buyers out there who are struggling to buy a home because they're getting outbid left and right, or not even necessarily outbid, right? They could be bidding higher, but you know, for some reason the seller's picking another offer. Maybe there's certain other terms the seller likes. We feel you because we've been through this ourselves. Okay, so strike four, this is so ridiculous. So this one, we were not outbid, but here's what happened. We found a house in a great neighborhood, um, so much appreciation potential, even beyond how much it's appreciated um, already. And this home uh, was new construction, just completed, really nice, um, had most of what we were looking for, but a few things that we were not so keen on, but we thought, you know what, we just can't be so picky in this market. Um, and not even just in this market, but just, it's, it's really hard to find the perfect home unless you're gonna build it from scratch. Um, so we um, emailed the listing agent. I emailed her asking her some questions uh, to you know, get some additional information so that we could know, you know before we made a decision on whether to make an offer. Also ask, you know, what contract documents does your builder use? Because there is an option. You can use the contracts that the Texas Real Estate Commission puts out, uh, which is for the new home contract, or the builder may have their own contract documents that they want us to use. So anyway, she didn't get back with me. And two days later, I, you know, I asked for an update because I thought, you know, it's taking, taking a while. This is a really hot market. This home has been on the market, mind you, for like five or six months at this point. So it's not like, you know, people were just clamoring to buy it, but they had also reduced the price. So I thought, you know what? This is, this always happens. It happens to my clients too. Whenever the home sits for a few months, there's been no offers, you know, all of a sudden when you think about making an offer, just watch, someone else is gonna to wanna to make an offer. And that is exactly what happened. She said, oh, we just received an offer today. And I'm like, okay, well, it'd be really nice if you would respond to me with the information I was asking for. Well, okay, so she's like, the offer is really good. We think the builder is just going to take it. And I said, well, just hold on a second. You know, we can submit an offer for consideration. You have to present all offers. Um, what, you know, what kind of offer are we looking at here that the other people have made? And she said, well, it's pretty close to list price. We were not planning to make as close to list price. Um, you know, again, because they didn't have any other offers, we thought maybe we can actually get a little bit off. But now we were like, you know what? We just don't want to lose another property because the options are getting slimmer and slimmer, right? If especially we prefer new construction if possible, or if it's slightly older, that it's been kept up in great condition, like that meticulous house that, you know, one owner, they built it custom and just, just kept it so wonderfully. It, it looked like we live in it because we're very meticulous too. So we're okay with something like that. Well, <laughs> she then said, well, I need to find out what contract documents this builder wants to use. I'm like, okay, first of all, shouldn't you have found that out before even listing the property? That's pretty much basics. You know, I've sold like 60 new homes before for another builder. Like I know how these things work. So clearly she was either incompetent or unethical or both um, because ultimately um, we said that we were gonna submit an offer. Please wait, please tell the builder you've got a full price offer coming with very strong terms that I'm sure the other offer won't beat. And that's exactly what we prepared. Um, I had signed them. She sent over a builder addenda and I had just finished reading over those. That was another like 50 pages. And um, just as I was about to get over to my computer to compile the email and attach the offer documents to send to her, she said the builders already executed the other offer. They've already signed it and we've already sent it to the other buyer. So it's too late. Ooh, I was so livid. I just was like, are you serious? When finally we have beaten this other offer, and I know now, because we also talked to her about possibly entering a backup contract where we would be the, excuse me, we would be the backup offer. And um, she told me that the contingency uh, would be three weeks from then for financing approval. Cause we said, you know, we want to kind of know like when might the first offer fall through? Is there a financing contingency? So we know kind of how long we want to stay in this backup offer position. We don't want to stay in it for too long because that would lock us in. Uh, you know, if we backed out, we would lose our option fee, you know, and we want to be able to be open to other properties that might, you know, come along, uh, within this, next few weeks and so she said three weeks which means their financing contingency is three weeks ours was going to be two weeks we were also going to close uh i think it was a week earlier than them and 
yes clearly and our price was higher so yeah our offer definitely beat them but um the way that she behaved this is how it turned out but all for the better just a few days later later on that week this lot was listed and at first i wrote it off i thought you know what i don't think so like i don't think we want to get up to that high of a price to buy a lot but I thought, you know what? This neighborhood has so much potential. It's already appreciated so much over the years. It's a great neighborhood and it's probably gonna keep appreciating and improving. There's a lot of new construction happening, tearing down of old homes, building up of new ones. So I said, let's, let's, let's go look at it. So we looked at it. We looked at a few other lots in the area and we went for it. And you know, we had to bid over full price <laughs> way over full price, uh, put down a high earnest money, no option period, no option fee, quick closing. We are even paying for the title policy that normally the seller pays for. And we're even closing at their title company. We literally are giving them everything. We're not asking them to pay for anything. No survey, no closing costs, nothing just so that we could get this lot because you know what we were like we are not going to be losers again <laughs> this is attempt number five we are not going to lose again we are going to get this lot this time this property so here is where we will build our future home it's a great great lot we are so happy uh, we were very nervous when we were making the offer not only because we thought what if somebody beats us right somebody out there could bid even higher but um just this was kind of a crazy decision. Um, it's not a neighborhood we've spent a lot of time in. We are familiar with it, but we were just like, wow, we're just gonna up and move to this new neighborhood and, you know, um, and, and just go for it, you know? And um, so yeah, that's, it's very exciting. So what I'm hoping to do is that, you know, we're in right now trying to design the floor plan uh, and we've got to go through all these steps in the building process, you know, ordering different types of surveys and soil report and all this stuff to get prepared. And then, you know, along the way, we'll be making selections and doing things. So what I'm looking forward to doing is sharing with you some of that process along the way so that you can see what it takes to go through and build a new home. I've talked about some of this in a previous, uh, a couple of previous videos about just, you know, the steps to building a new home and things that you need to be thinking about and, and all this stuff. And I even interviewed a builder about it so there's been a few videos that i've done about new construction but this time it's going to be personal and you're going to be on this journey with me um, to see how we are doing it uh, from the perspective of both a buyer like i'm just like some of you guys trying to buy and build a new home and also from the perspective of a real estate broker because with the professional experience that i've actually represented builder and buyer so people on both sides um, in the new construction process and so i've seen it you know from start to finish i've got clients now that i'm helping do a build on your lot so yes um i can guide you through from a professional perspective as well and look there's even this little random net that <laughs> somebody put up uh, in the middle of this lot which will be going away once they uh once they start building so stay tuned for more this is going to be more than a year-long process because when you build custom it takes a long time um and of course you know we've got to do all the the pre-planning and everything ahead of time so we're probably not looking to move in until 2022 so yes Thank you so much for joining me on this and you'll be along for the journey. Um, sorry, something popped up on my phone just now telling me low battery. So I, I was hoping that didn't stop my video. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching again. Please subscribe and like on Facebook and YouTube and send me any ideas you have, any questions, any suggestions for these videos and I hope you'll continue to join me weekly on Wednesdays for Smarter Real Estate. I'm Julie Tam, Managing Broker of Lynn Realty and I hope you have a great week. See you next time.